Hi, Mark Bunting here. It's good to see you again. I hope you're having a great flight. Well, I thought this time on the program, we'd take a look at some websites and some tools designed to help you make the absolute most of your summer vacation memories. We're going to look at some sites to help you with your digital photos, sharing those vacation memories with others, even a great new notebook computer to help in this task. All of this and much, much more on this edition of SkyTech. Last time we talked a little about your summer vacation photos and how you can get a jump start on managing all those memories while you're still on your trip. Well, you really should take your notebook computer with you so that you can begin to organize your photos, your home movies, and begin the process of sharing with family and friends. Let me show you what I mean. I'm using my new HP Mini 210 to create and share our summer vacation memories with family and friends. We like the convenience of transferring our photos immediately via the SD card reader and quickly having the ability to organize, edit, and share our best pictures. I also like to upload our videos so I can begin editing and even post to YouTube for sharing with other family members. We also use the built-in HP webcam to say hello to friends and family so as to include them as best we can on our trip. For photos, our favorite online photo site is Snapfish where we upload and share photos on the fly as well as order prints to be mailed to our house back home in advance of our return. The new HP Mini 210 is also ideal for this task as it is designed for hassle-free mobility at under three pounds and under one inch thick. HP used the newest generation of Atom processors from Intel. It comes in multiple colors in a really cool super matte imprint finish. It has an easy to use island style keyboard and a terrific 10.1 inch bright view infinity LED display. The system also comes with Beats Audio to make the most of your music or an entertainment you're watching while you fly. How about this? You can also use ePrint to immediately send those pictures to your printer or say your parents' printer via an HP web connected ePrinter. Using my new Mini 210 on vacation ensures I don't have a lot of photo management chores piled up when I return from our trip. Lastly, with up to nine hours of battery life, I've got plenty of runtime for coast to coast flights. So remember to take your notebook computer with you on this year's family vacation so that you can begin to manage all of your memories, watch a movie or two, and maybe even work a little bit. Well, check out the HP Mini 210 for all of this and more. Now, once you've collected all these great vacation memories, the real work of editing photos, video, ordering prints, and sharing those memories really begins. Here's a few of my favorite sites to help you through that process. I mentioned before that Snapfish is my favorite all-around photo site. We use it to upload photos and share immediately with our most important friends and family. Of course, it's all password protected and you can provide others with easy access to see your pictures. You can even create a private group room to share your photos, photo books, and even videos. I also like Snapfish for ordering prints. Their service is very good and the prices are competitive. We ordered a photo book of pictures from our trip to the Kentucky Derby and it came out great. They've also made it easy to share your pictures to Facebook and other social networks, even blogs with a new feature called Auto Share. Another one of our favorites is Snap Show. This basically lets you create animated slideshow movies of your photos without having to download any software. Now, my favorite place for editing photos is called Picnic. At picnic.com, you can edit your photos whether you're a pro or a beginner. It's free and very comprehensive. Simply upload a picture and you can use their simple and intuitive tools to fix flaws in your images. There's a simple auto fix if you want to go the easy route. For those wanting more creative control, you can of course rotate, crop, resize, change the exposure, adjust colors, sharpen, and even red eye correct. All easy and free. There are a myriad of other creative tools, some free and some for a fee, that lets you really expand the creative presentations of your photos with everything from special effects, stickers, frames, seasonal templates for special holidays, and more. Lastly, if you want the easiest way to share your videos for free, YouTube is still your best bet. And yes, you can hide them from public viewing. You can upload home movies of up to 10 minutes in length and do so very easily on YouTube. Once the video is finished loading, you can simply click the option for unlisted or private, depending on the level of privacy you wish. Then you can simply share the link with others in your immediate circle or family members for viewing. Well, that about does it for this episode. 
As always, if you'd like to get more information on anything featured on the show, drop me a line or watch a video rebroadcast on YouTube. Till next time, this is your host, Mark Bunting. I hope you have a great flight, and I'll see you soon.